If you were to wake up tomorrow unable to see, how much would you trust your doctor to get the diagnosis right? If they got it wrong and you lost vision permanently as a result, what would that mean for you and your life? I'm an ophthalmology registrar, which means I'm a doctor specialising in eyes and eye surgery. The nature of cataracts and the way the eyes age means that almost every person sitting in this room will develop a vision limiting condition requiring treatment by an ophthalmologist if they live long enough. And yet eyes and vision are not well taught in Australian medical schools. In the entire last three years of my degree, I had no formal mandatory education on eyes and vision. My university wasn't alone. We surveyed graduating medical students and junior doctors from around the country and found of 840, just 0.05% volunteered that they felt they had sufficient ophthalmology education to be safe. What are the outcomes of that? Why does that matter? Well, an Australian paper looked at 1,000 patients with an acute eye problem referred to an ophthalmologist and found that if you were to wake up tomorrow unable to see or with a painful red eye, if you went to your general practitioner, you would be twice as likely to be given the wrong diagnosis as you would be to be given the right one. If instead you went to the emergency department, you would have better odds flipping a coin than you would be of getting a correct diagnosis. In that paper, 11 patients suffered from permanent vision loss, severe unnecessary pain, or both, specifically as a result of misdiagnosis and delayed diagnosis. The picture on the screen is of acute angle closure glaucoma, an extremely painful condition in which vision is lost permanently over the course of hours. Last year, I was personally involved in three separate cases where that diagnosis was missed by the emergency doctor and the patient was sent home or to the ward without the vision-saving treatment that they needed. These are hard-working, intelligent doctors. The problem is not the doctors. The problem is the lack of education. And that's where my project comes in. While it's unfortunately outside of the scope of a single PhD to convince every Australian medical school to prioritise ophthalmology education, what I can do is create an online training platform teaching medical students and junior doctors what they need to know to keep your eyes and vision safe. And so that's what we're doing. Our online training course incorporates evidence-based educational strategies to maximise the efficacy and the retention of the learning. Our online modules are interactive, asking participants questions all along the way. Because as we all know, the best way to remember something forever is to get it wrong in an exam. So far, 250 medical students and junior doctors have completed module one. Pilot data from the first 150 demonstrates a statistically significant improvement in knowledge, confidence, and overall strongly positive feedback. The aim of my project is simple. If you were to wake up tomorrow unable to see, I would want your doctor to have their eyes wide open to what could be going on for you and how to keep your vision safe.